Hi everybody, welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna try to answer one of the questions that seems quite important uh, for me in our sport is how we should name our sport. Um, I think it's pretty important because uh, if you take a big sport like football, in almost every country in the world they will uh, call the sport from the same name from every language basically uh, it's almost the same you can find version football or soccer but uh, globally uh, it's very easy to find out the name and basically also when you research the name on google it's easy to find if you talk about basketball it's kind of the same in almost every country in the world it's the same name uh, to um, to call the sport so it's super convenient for people from different country uh, also for the research in google in youtube to find uh, what you're looking for and for our sport i see uh, one point is like in almost every country we have a different name or we almost don't really know how we should call our sport sometime should it be inline speed skating should it be uh, roller skating should it be patinage de vitesse in france in netherlands they even call it skiller for many years uh, i feel inline speed skating is the one which is most used in spain they will uh, say patinare de velocidad in italy it's also another language so basically every country calls this sport in a little bit different way so one way to um, to check this is we will go on google trend and look how much or what is the tendency, what is the most important uh, worldwide, let's say, using Google Trend Tool to find out which one uh, they, we could call the spot the best way. So let's jump uh, into Google Trend Tool. And uh, first we're gonna search, we're gonna just write, let's say, we're gonna be quite uh, generalistic and we will write uh, inline skating. Let's talk about uh, the sport in general and look the tendency and we can actually see that uh, the, um, this research on Google was quite popular till 2004 and then start to slow down till 2009 and since 2009-10 till now uh, we are basically quite regular almost uh, flat level when you look at this sport name uh, we can compare it for example now with uh, roller skating uh, in France we use a lot the term roller also. Uh, in English I think inline skating or roller skating can sound really different. And here on the research you can see actually roller skating. Uh, here I make the research basically in every country from 2004 to nowadays. And you see for example roller skating is a, is a wording that is much more powerful than inline skating. If you uh, compare also this, for example, to uh, if I take the Spanish word for it, patinare, uh, and look how it sounds, it's actually uh, stronger than just inline skating. So that means uh, from the all the search engine, uh, basically from Google, there is there are more people writing patinare than inline skating. So uh, it's pretty important. Uh, tendency and if I compare this for example with uh, Skiller actually I'm not even sure how to write it let's try like this in Netherlands they would call it Skiller and and yeah as we could imagine uh, still it's, it's less powerful um, than inline skating let's add um, some more research patinage let's write it in French or Canadian let's look how it is uh, this one, oh, it's actually, uh, as you can see, it's almost like, it's powerful once every four years. So which means basically, it's almost like during the Olympic patinage and actually most of the world, like inline skating, uh, roller skating, patinare or patinage uh, are worlds that show up a kind of peak in these four years so I guess it's uh, the Olympic when there is the winter Olympic then there is this kind of peak so it's not totally related to inline uh, skating like we feel it but it's probably an influence of uh, skating or p patinare in um, every four years I guess it's the Olympic who surges. this now, now we can try to be a little bit more uh, specific and go uh, with the notion of speed into this so I will delete here let's say all my first research and 
I, I could do this in many more languages, of course, but um, let's try to keep it a bit uh, more simple. So let's write inline speed scaling. And uh, maybe we will compare this just to first to inline scaling to see what are the tendencies here. And actually, uh, poof, it's actually so, it's not really easy to see. Yeah, it's because I write it wrong, so let's write it correctly, of course. And now yeah, you can see how much inline speed scaling is searched compared to inline scaling. Quite a, a difference here. And um, let's look, compare to just, um, let's write in Spanish, patina velocidad. I guess it's correct writing like this. And it's pretty, it's pretty balanced actually. It's almost 50-50. Little turn on some peak sometime for uh, the Spanish words, but this is actually, like I said, it's a, I think it's a, it's a weak point from our community it's because the, uh, the research on our sport and the algorithm in many uh, activities, in many social media will be split between all these wordings. So for me, it's super important that the International Federation or maybe that us as a community were able to call our sport with really uh, always the same name yeah, almost in every country that would make us much more powerful on all the algorithms from social media from uh, search engine on google and everything so pretty important for me if i compare it let's say now into uh, france if i write patinage the vitesse uh, let's see how it goes it's actually stronger and this it's once again every four years you see one uh, peak going up but then i think it's also referred to ice so it looks like the olympic and so let me change this to how we call it in france usually we say roller course this is how we usually normally call our sport in france roller course and it's also uh, quite even compared to patinare de velocidad and to inline speed skating so we can see here uh, with the number that we really uh, split a lot uh, all this it makes us much more less powerful and um, yeah let me know uh, in the comment if you think this is something a little bit important let me know in the comment i would really like to know uh, it would be interesting how would be the best way to call our sport i'm i like a lot to call it inline speed skating uh, when i speak english and just in the overall uh, it's easier uh, to say it I think but let me know if it's uh, good for you if it would be good if we have the same name to call our sport in every country or if we should let every language um, speak differently and spell it the way uh, the Spanish want to tell it the French the German or the Italian uh, would like to call it so let me know in the comment and um, I think quite interesting topics the development of our sport is important and all these details are very important nowadays for the algorithm so thanks for following see you for in the next video with some kind of uh, funny different topics like this uh, it's good for the winter time it's not always easy to skate so i try to bring some new topics and let's see how we can uh, push our sport uh, to be the best thank you see you soon